to the teacup brigade. It's me, you can call me Bassy. Um, I have for this week a weekly review. So far, I read two books this week. One was an audiobook and one was a graphic novel. The audiobook that I read or listened to for this week was The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, this book is about a 15-year-old Latina girl named Xiomara. Xiomara is a strong-willed, independent girl. She uh, is navigating her feelings on family and love and religion, and she does so through poetry. Um, I really like this book. Even though poetry is not usually a genre that I usually gravitate towards, um, this book was written really well and was also narrated really well. Um, it was narrated by the author, uh, Elizabeth Acevedo. I finished it in a day because I couldn't stop listening to it. It was so much fun to listen to. Uh, Acevedo's performance uh, in the narration was really well done. Usually, I, I'm not super critical on audiobook narrators. Usually, I just feel like they're just kind of there, but she really went above and beyond on this audiobook. It was really well done. Um, I would really recommend listening to it. I also really loved Xiomara as a character. She was written in a way where she was really brought to life. I could really imagine her as a person. With her characters, Acevedo does a lot more showing than telling with the characters, which is something I really love in books. I hate it when they tell me that a character feels a certain way or thinks a certain way, but they don't really show me. But in this case, uh, Acevedo did amazing. For example, um, the main character, Xiomara, uh, she's never described as smart, but um, when you read her character, the way she thinks and the way she speaks, like she's really intelligent. Even the way she incorporates things that she's learning in school into her poetry, um, she's a really intelligent person, but the book doesn't feel like it needs to go out of its way to say, oh, by the way, she's very smart. The relationships in this book were done very well as well. Um, the sibling relationships, the romantic relationships, or mother-daughter relationship, um, it was done it was done really well. It uh, was really well fleshed out. I especially liked the um, relationship Xiomara has with her brother. Um, they are twins. Uh, I feel like of young adult uh, sibling relationships are either way more hostile or either way too friendly um, to be realistic, but in this case I feel like Xiomara and her twin Xavier's relationship was done really well because um, they both obviously really love each other, but they have such opposite personalities that they still don't completely understand each other and even get to the point where they are frustrated with each other's personality traits. I thought that was really realistic. I also really liked the um, romance between Ziamara and um, an another character, his name is Aman. Uh, it felt very teenagery to me. Xiomara and Aman's relationship progresses in a way that feels natural and is fun to listen to. Um, overall, I really enjoyed this book, uh, especially as an audiobook. I would probably get it, give it a 5 out of 5. Uh, would, I would especially recommend listening to it because the audiobook was just... It was really amazing. The end. Another book that I read this week was Quiet Girl in a Noisy World, uh, an introvert story by Debbie Tung. Um, this is a graphic novel. Uh, it's all done in black and white. Uh, it looks like it's mostly pen and watercolor. It's all about 
Debbie Tong's experience as an introvert. It talks about her relationship with her extroverted significant other, uh, being in the work environment as an introvert, uh, charging and running out of mental energy. And she shows this uh, by like a little battery over her head, which I thought was pretty fun. As an introvert, this book was super relatable for me. Um, not all introverts are the same or would have the same problems and issues, but for me, I felt uh, like it really described what it's like being an introvert for the most part. Specifically in this book, I would probably say that um, it's mostly introversion in regard to probably both anxiety and depression, and it does so really well. I would probably give this graphic novel a 3 out of 5. I did like it, but it's definitely something I've already seen in other graphic novels and webcomics. Um, if you enjoyed this graphic novel and are looking for something similar, I would recommend It's All Absolutely Fine by Ruby um, etc. I think it's Ruby etc. Uh, I always see her name as Ruby etc. So I I assumed that's what her name was. I would also recommend if you liked this graphic novel reading um, a web comic that I like. It's called Womp by Ronnie Filia. I'll link the um, I'll put the link to his website in the description. It doesn't specifically talk about introverts, but the author seems to be pretty obviously introverted, so if you liked this, if you liked, where is it? If you liked Quiet Girl in a Noisy World, I think you will like Womp. That is all for what I've read in the last week. I'm currently reading Thunderhead by Neil Shusterman, which is the sequel to Scythe. Um, basically, science has advanced to the point where people can live forever. Because of this, there are so many people on the Earth that there are designated killers called Scythes um, that are tasked with killing people in order to regulate the population. I really loved Scythe but I'm about halfway through um, Thunderhead. Well, I'm about a third of the way through in Thunderhead and I'm feeling kind of meh about it. Uh, I'm hoping it will pick back up and be as good as Scythe was, but we'll see. Hoping to finish this within the next week or so. I am also currently reading um, White Rose Black Forest, Ooh. White Rose Black Forest by Owen Dempsey, I think that that spells Owen, E-O-I-N. This book was actually recommended to me by my mom. Uh, she really, really loved it, so I thought I would check it out. Um, it, this book is a historical fiction about a woman in 1943 Germany. She has lost pretty much everyone she has loved to the Nazis. Um, and so she decides one day she is going to go into the Black Forest in Germany and um, commit suicide. However, in the forest, um, she comes across an unconscious soldier in the snow and decides to postpone her suicide in order to save this man's life. I am... I'm about 40 pages in so far, and it's pretty interesting. I'm hoping to also finish this uh, by the next week, um, but we will see. I actually have a pretty busy week coming up. Um, I am also listening to The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. This book is about a toddler who unbeknownst to the toddler, um, his entire family has been murdered, and while the murderer is still in the house, there's no one to uh, 
watch the toddler. So he wanders out of the house and into the grin there. He is adopted by ghosts who decide to... So far, I really like the story. I'm about an hour into the audiobook. Uh, I have one gripe with this audiobook, and that's that at the beginning of every chapter, there's music that plays. I'm not sure if it is guitar or fiddly music, but it plays in the background while the narrator is speaking. I usually like to listen to my audiobooks at 1.5 speed, so with the music and the narrator at the same time sped up, it just turns into gibberish, and so I have to keep um, reducing my speed to uh, regular whenever that happens, and that's kind of annoying, but doesn't really reflect on the story so far. Um, besides that, I'm really enjoying the book. Well, that's it for my wrap-up this week. I'm hoping to have a wrap-up next week, but I am traveling. A best friend of mine is um, getting married, so there either will be a late video or no video. But yes, thank you for coming to our channel. This was the Teacup Brigade. Bye!